Hey y'all, what's up? Peace. What's up? Positive energy always creates elevation. And so I'm gonna give y'all a little positive mindset today. But um, I just wanna let y'all know. Look, don't let nobody try to tell you, you know, that nobody can walk a mile in your shoes, okay? If anybody put your shoes on, they wouldn't even be able to take a step, okay? Certain choices and decisions that you've made, mistakes that you've made, trust me, if that person, that other person who caught himself judging you walked in your shoes, they'll make the exact same mistakes, choices, and decisions that you made. You, It's easy to say, oh, well, I wouldn't do that, and I wouldn't. If you were in their shoes with the knowledge that they have, with the capabilities that they have, you know, at that particular point in their life, you would do the best that you could at that point in time too. So you would make the exact same decisions and choices that that person made because you're walking in their shoes, you know? So people need to understand, you know, don't sit here and be trying to judge other people's life. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what a person's been through. So even though, you know, people get out of order with me, and, you know, uh, like a janitor, I might have to feel like I'm about to come and clean some stuff up. Like I'm about to check the hell out you. I try to do it with kindness. I'm going to speak my piece the rawest way that I can. Because that's just a Sagittarius in me. You know, I, I hold no punches. I speak what I speak because my truth is the truth. You know, there's no nice way to sugarcoat stuff. And I don't sugarcoat nothing. You know what I'm saying? And um, my thing is, when they try to, you know, judge you, don't don't let that affect you. If you are improving yourself every day and being the best version of you that you can be, give yourself a, bat, a pat on the back. Give yourself a round of applause. You know what I'm saying? Because these narcissistic toxic people don't want you to live a better life than them. They don't want you to do better than them. When they have drained you to the point that, like, you know, they think that you're hurting. Let me tell you, when you bounce back, when you fill your cup back up and your cup overflowing, and you are the happiest that you've ever been, you know, you're the healthiest you've ever been mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, that's when they begin to hoover. You know, that's when they want to try to come back. Go check out my video on my motherfuckers coming from the woodworks. You know, they try to pop back up. Hey, you know, I know it's been like five years and it's going to be five more. We ain't got to talk, block, delete. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, it took a while for me to learn to cut people off. But see... If I would have continued holding on to these so-called friends or these or like my so-called mother, my mother, she's my earth mother. You know what I'm saying? She's not part of my spiritual family, my soul tribe. You know what I'm saying? So I don't look at her as my mom. Yeah, you're the reason why my vessel was able to enter this realm, but you know... If it was up to her, baby, I wouldn't even had a heartbeat at eight weeks. You know what I'm saying? So God has a way of making things happen for a reason. So, but for real though, like if I, if you're so happy and I'm talking to my mother cause you know, she found the platform and you know, um, she, she has no ability to contact me, which is the way I want it the way I like it and the way it's going to stay until either I or her pass away. You know what I'm saying? And I say that like that because she foreshadows and casts death upon my life. You know what I'm saying? Well, when you die, I'm going to cremate you. What makes you think I'm going to die before you? I'm not out here in the streets gang banging and doing stuff that I'm not supposed to be doing to end up in a position to die before you unless you're so evil and wicked that you're gonna call yourself trying to put a hit out on me but like i say 
I'm protected, not affected. So, shoot, if you did want to try to call yourself trying to put a hit out on me, ooh, that's going to backfire your face times three. So, you know, I I have a return to sender policy. You know, if I feel that you're trying to send me negative energy, may it return to you threefold because I don't play those kind of games. You know what I'm saying? I mind my business. I'm only trying to, you know, uh, spread peace, love. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm up here living my life doing me. And I still be making motherfuckers mad. Motherfuckers be pressed, stressed, and bothered. You know what I'm saying? Why are you watching my every move? Because you're obsessed with me. Because you ain't got no life. That ain't got nothing to do with me. You know? Shoot. You couldn't wait for my ass to be out the house. I'm gone. This bird has learned to fly. Okay? Little ducky ain't coming back. You know, ducky from Land Before Time. Yeah. Petrie. <laughs> I like Petrie and uh, ducky. But for real though, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody about to return to you. And see, that's what she thought, y'all. She thought that you know, I would go out here in this great big old world, this doggy dog world, this cruel, cold world, and fail. She was hoping for my failure, hoping I would be evicted, hoping I would get my car repossessed, hoping I'd get fired from my job, hoping I'd lose my CDL, hoping all these ter terrible things upon my life. You know what I'm saying? And because I am a successful, you know what I'm saying, um, she can't stand it. You know, by me making my own money, she has no power or control over me because I don't need her money. I don't. And then even if she was to give me money, I wouldn't accept it because then she thinks that there's going to be, well, well, I did this for you and I gave you this and I did that. I don't give a damn, ma'am, you know, she taught me so much, right? She taught me how to be feminine because she's so masculine. And then she meets these feminine men and she's angry because she wants a real man, but you can't get a real man because you are a real man. You the man of your own dreams, honey boo. And you too dumb to even realize it. You know what I'm saying? You can't sit there and want this man to be the head of the household, but you over here, you know, trying to emasculate him, trying to dominate him, trying to, you know, run things. Well, if you want to be the man, he going to leave you by yourself. That's why you can't find no spouse. It ain't, it ain't. God probably brought you good men, but you passed on them because you out here being wicked, deceptive, cheating, lying, scheming, you know what I'm saying? Doing all this stuff in the dark and now it's coming to light on your ass, you know? You might as well prepare to be lonely because that's what she told me, y'all. She was like, prepare to be lonely and childless baby i don't know what that text message meant when you sent that to me in january i'm very fertile i could have kids if i wanted to i could have already had children but see i was too busy breaking the chains that bound me you know what i'm saying getting rid of devils like you cutting off toxic people like you removing myself from a toxic environment into a into a you know new place where I could put down roots and actually allow my fruit to grow and multiply and produce. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't do that in a toxic environment. My tree would have been a fig tree. Or I would only produce one apple. You know what I'm saying? So I did what I had to do. You know, she over here well, I don't know. Why Why are you doing You don't need to know. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. So stop trying to act like you can read my mind. You ain't no mind reader and neither am I. 
mind your business, stay in your lane, and just let me live my life. And you go and live yours. You know what I'm saying? But she, I think what it is is because she likes to pull that mother card. I'm her one and only daughter. Because I straight up had to tell her, if she contacts my job, and you know what I'm saying, I was like, I, I, I'm going to get a restraining order on you. Facts. My daddy did it. I'll do it too. Well, I'm your mom, so I don't give a damn that I popped out your coochie. I could have came out of anybody's coochie. It just happened to be yours. And, you know, shoot, God made it that way, you know. Um, I'm an empath. You're a narcissist. And we just don't exist the same way in life. You know, you're the total opposite. You want to kill, steal, and destroy. I'm all about peace, you know, drama free, trying to just, you know, live life, you know, you sabotage me every step of the way. And by me moving you out the way and out of my life, my plans are, are manifesting at a fast rate. You know what I'm saying? You wanted to discourage me from telling my story and from speaking against your kind narcissist and literally within three days i went from 200 subscribers to over 330 subscribers that's a tremendous 130 uh plus people watching little old me including you sir ma'am because i know you out there watching why else are you in my comments talking about somebody spreading your business and it ain't you? It's my business because it's my life. I'm telling my story. And if you mad because you look bad, none of my viewers know what you look like until I make a t-shirt with your face on it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a t-shirt with your face on it and a t-shirt with my face on it. And it's going to, I don't know, I'm going to probably be like narc battle, narc survivor. I don't know. I'm going to come up with a bright idea. So trust and believe. I got a lot of things in the making. So if you mad now, you're going to be real mad. You're going to be, not, I, I told you, I told you that your shenanigans is going to make me famous. I told you that your shenanigans is entertainment to me and my subs you thought i was playing you thought i was playing i say what i mean and i mean what i say but you the one that gotta face the music now because anybody who does know me and anybody who does know you too they gonna they gonna be looking at you with the side eye like why why is she talking about you like that? What's going on? Because I hold no punches. I'm going to talk my shit and I'm going to let it ride. You made the relationship the way that it is. Not me. I did everything under the sun to try to make it work. You know, to try to fix something that's infixable. To try to understand, but you made every attempt to misunderstand me. You know, you wanted to be at odds with me, not the other way around. So stop playing the victim. <gasps> oh, I don't know why my daughter's treating me like this. I don't know why she stopped talking to me. You know why? And you're aging, which means your narcissistic behavior is going to continue to, you, 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 you're going to get worse. You're going to get worse. And I don't, so I'm glad I ditched you sooner than later because I'd be damned if you think that I'm going to be wiping your ass. Mm -mm. I would do you like the girl in Diaries of a Mad Black Woman did Charles. He was in the wheelchair. She pushed his ass into the bathtub like like shoved his ass and he flew out the chair into the bathtub and all of that, baby. 
I, I do you like that. There are no gentle sponge baths with me. There's none of that feeding you tapioca pudding, telling you stories. Mm -mm. You're going to go to an old person's home, and if they beat you, rape you, whatever horror stories happen in them senior citizens' homes, that ain't none of my business. That's just karma. Because it's amazing how you want to keep... That's the reason why you want to try to keep me around. Because you want to live in my house when I get my house. You want to freeload eating my milk and cookies. Mm -mm. You keep your hands out my cookie jar. You didn't work for them cookies. And you didn't work for that milk. That's my motherfucking cow in the front yard. I... I I teated that, that damn cow to get the milk on the table. Because I, I didn't bought everything. And you brought nothing but pure destruction. You know, you want to benefit from my hard work and labor. You know? Mm -mm. The only person that's going to benefit from my hard work and labor is me. Me. And I am in the best place in my life without you. Like... A lot of people can't comprehend, you know, they love, oh, honor their mother. You're nothing to be honored. You're a piece of shit. You were neglectful as fuck. And if you weren't neglectful, why was I at six years old jumping off the roof of the house thinking I'm Mary Poppins and shit? You should have been supervising my ass to ensure that I never got that umbrella. You should have been like, first off, you should have been around. But you love to try to use that excuse. I was a single mother. And baby, you was a single mother by choice because you could have allowed my father to be in my life. I would at least been supervised by somebody if it wasn't you. Then, you know, you over here lying to the courts, talking about you afraid that my dad is going to molest me. But you raised a molester, a pedophile, a sexually violent predator. You raised one, your son. How How's that for karma? Came to bite you in the ass. You on crack speed now? Okay, I'm about to go cause he on crack now. So, kitty crack time. Anyways, y'all, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, comment down below. But for real, I ain't got no problem addressing anybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got an opinion, but I'm talking to you, birthing parent. You know, you think because you gave life to me that you own me. You don't own me. I have my own thoughts, my own feelings. I am an autonomous being. You know, so you don't control nothing here. You have no power no authority, not over me. So when I have kids, you'll be lucky if they even know your name or that you exist. So yeah, you got the permission to exist and so do I. So to all my sub, to all my subs, my beautiful subscribers out there, you have the permission to exist. Don't allow people like my mother, these narcissists, these toxic, dysfunctional ass people to try to make you feel bad about yourself for cutting them out your life. You have the responsibility to protect yourself. And if protecting your peace of mind and your heart, you know, your peace all around, you know, your health, your physical health. You got to do what's best for you. Okay? So go out there and be great. Peace. Positive energy always creates elevation. All right.